Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Email World, sponsored by No One, in association with Inbox Placement it's the Limited. Time of the season when we love runs this week on Email World Weekly, we'll be talking about EEC membership, castle update, Dynamise in London, Gen Z, No Subject Line of the Week, and Black Friday tips. I kick-started the week by joining the EEC. As discussed last episode, a little bit about the EEC. They're the, one of the biggest organisations for email marketing professionals. They're backed by the DMA. You really should have, have a look into this. I'm excited to see what resources are available and how I can contribute to that moving forwards. The next bit of news is in regards to CASEL, which is the Can Canadian anti-spam legislation. And the blog post that I, I was looking into was from 250OK, and written by Matt Vernout. This is a this is an article on compliance um, within email marketing and specifically the Canadian law. So you're probably thinking, what? How does that affect me? Well, in fact, it's always important to know, and it, it's good to know, in fact, how data collection processes and the law, um, how we can abide by the law, in regards to the fact that if you're the data owner, for example, if you're an ES ESP and you have clients that are sending on your platform, in fact you're still responsible for their data and how they handle it. Um, so it's, it's, it's an interesting read. I think compliance is very important in email marketing, specifically that dr drives your good deliverability rates. So that, that features this week. Thanks Matt. The next piece is about a company called Dynamize and they've just landed in London. They've just set up a shop in London let's say and they had their kickoff on Thursday last week and it was a great, it's not very often you get to meet the whole team pretty much together in one place. So it's fantastic to meet them. Um, it looks like they're really passionate, excited bunch. Um, so it would be good to work with them in the future. Now, a couple of things that sp sprung to mind. So email marketing within the UK, um, how, how in fact, how does that work in terms of deliverability? What are the challenges? So Florian, that could be an episode for us to discuss further on down the line. Um, as I say, welcome welcome to London Dynamize. Thank you for the um, lovely evening that you put on. Check out Dynamize. In the same evening, there was a speech given about Generation Z by Dado Schneider. I really enjoyed that speech. I think it was um, really insightful as to say how in the future, perhaps our marketing campaigns, or in fact, how even interactions with Generation Z and how, in fact, how it's different from generation to de generation. Going back from to last week about interactive design, could it not be that we look at tailoring emails depending on, in fact, the generation of the person we're talking to? Now, you could argue, are Generation Z looking at um, their emails? That's debatable. But in fact, when we look at interactive design, it's not a necessity to add in all these um, hamburger menus and, and, and such. But the intention span of some, some generations are a bit shorter than others. If you've made it this far already, don't forget to like and subscribe. It could be better that you have more interactive designs tailored for different generations. Um, you should definitely check out his work. By all account, he's going global now. Thank you. This week, I couldn't really find many candidates for subject line um, at all. Subject line of the week this week. However, I come across a, a few websites, a lot of them subject line testing tools, and I wanted to investigate further, in fact, what um, how good they are, should we be using them? Now we normally do like split line tests, etc., with our marketing campaigns, but can we actually get some more insights before we send the campaigns to know what's actually working or not? So I really like this site, I just stumbled across it. I'll put the link down below. It gives you some tips what makes a good subject line. If anyone has any suggestions for the subject line of the week, next week, let me know and I'll, it'll feature. It makes sense in a couple of weeks, we've got Black Friday coming up. So we've got this good guide, Send in Blue, Black Friday Marketing Done Right. So it's top 15 tips from the 15 top digital marketing e experts. In, in fact, for the last push before you send your campaigns, how you can improve. That's it for the five minutes weekly this week. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next week. Thank you, have a good week. I really appreciate 22 subscribers already. Thanks a lot. Take you in the sun to promise land to show you everyone is the time of the season for love.